Hi, I'm Charlie Fripp from IT News Africa, and today we're speaking to Avi Mystery, Intel's commercial manager. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Charlie. Tell me about Intel's new chip, uh, chip range. A little about the Haswell, maybe some new chips that's coming out. What's Intel up to? So Haswell is our fourth generation of chips that are launching from June 2013. And we're going to see some phenomenal features, especially around performance mm. and energy saving. Energy saving is actually a big, big play for us. Mm -hmm. OK. Um, Intel recently decided to stop motherboard production. What influenced that decision? How did they come to stop the motherboard production? What, what was the, the big influences for that decision? So firstly, the announcement to stop the motherboard production is actually very early. Mm. We're only truly stopping in about two years from now. Okay. Uh, the reason for making the announcement, the announcement was to bring the public up to speed with exactly where our play is. Mm -hmm. And that is centered around new technologies enabling smaller form factors and allowing more circuitry to come onto smaller um, form factors, really. OK. Um, during the Tech Demo Africa demonstration, Intel had a little box the Nook device. Yes, can you tell us a little bit about that? So the Nook device is absolutely phenomenal. It is a 4x4 four four inch fanless device that has either a Core i3 or a Core i5 processor. Mm. The newer model will will be vPro capable with, uh, which allows for remote uh, management of the device. Uh, it has an mSATA drive mm -hmm. that could be anything from 20 gigs all the way up to 230 gigs in size. And it really has unbelievable use cases from being slapped behind digital signs to being, being placed into vending machines and even you know used in the casino industry mm. with uh, gaming solutions. Okay, so it's like a little, um, almost like a little PC crammed into a box. I would actually call it a full-blown workstation crammed into a box. Nice, okay. Um, Intel's partnerships, um, I, do, I know Intel partners with a lot of product, uh, a lot of companies around the world. Um, what partnerships are Intel looking at in the future and who have they partnered with recently? So, being a horizontal in the marketplace, we work with all players, you know, whether it's HP, Lenovo, Dell, mm. um, Samsung, Apple, we were, we, we really uh, across all all the players in the market. Okay, how big is Intel's operations in Africa? Where do they operate in Africa or supply? To We've actually got quite a quite an extensive reach in Africa. Um, starting with South Africa, we've got a good foot footprint in the country. Mm -hmm. We also look after the greater sub-Saharan Africa region, which comprises of about 17 countries, mm -hmm. including Mauritius. Um, we have a footprint on the east part of Africa in Kenya and the west part of Africa in Nigeria. We also have a footprint in Morocco that looks after the northwest part of Africa. Okay. Um, speaking of North Africa, um, Intel also launched the YOLO phone, which is available in Nigeria. Tell us a little bit about the phone. Why, why did Intel decide to make a, a smartphone for that market? So the YOLO phone, Charlie, was actually released in East Africa, in Kenya. And it was Intel's first play at low-cost smartphones for... I think it was under $150, I'm not sure of the exact mm -hmm. price, you could get a smartphone that is truly capable of many features that are you know, previously reserved for higher end mm -hmm. smartphones. Okay, so, so it's almost like tapping into a market and providing the users with a, with a cheaper smartphone. That's it. Okay, and then security on chips. Tell me a lot about, about Tell me a little bit about Intel's security on chips. So security is actually a big play with Intel at present. 
as our devices become a lot more mobile and as data mm. uses personal data, corporations' personal data becomes more mobile, we want to make sure that the user experience is a secure one. What we've come out with is technologies like anti-theft protection, mm -hmm. which allows for your device to be locked, disabled, um, or even wiped remotely based on s certain software and um, features that take uh, mm. uh, that make use of the hardware that's underlying in your device. Other features are identity protection, which when paired with banking solutions, allow for a far, sec far more secure banking experience. Mm. And security is, you know, across the board. Mm, that's, uh, that is very true. Avi, thank you so much for joining us. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Goodbye.